fishers. Got some pretty hot reports around the area at the moment and uh, probably sound like a broken record. I've said it plenty of times. Murrumbidgee River, how good is this? It's absolutely amazing little bit of water. If you're not catching fish in the river, don't tell anyone. It'll be embarrassing because everyone is catching fish in the river. It is incredible. It's clear. Yeah, a little bit low, but uh, a little bit of difficulty putting boats in some spots. But there's some good areas to put your boats in. Uh, come and give us a yell and I'll give you a rundown on that. But my goodness gracious me, lure fishermen are doing better than bait fishermen at the moment. Flicking uh, little hammerheads around, especially in the number six colour, the fluoro green. Absolute dynamite. Getting some really good fish on surface lures in the river. And also some on some really large lures. You know, getting some very, very good cod. Um, the Jaws 120s, absolutely fantastic. Uh, hammerheads, 80 mil, absolutely perfect. Uh, stump jumpers, size two, plenty of fish on those, so it looks real good. Spinner baits are working just as well, but change it up occasionally. Go for a hard body lure every now and then. You might find you'll get some better results from day to day. It's really firing. Old Man Creek, getting some good fish out of there too, but uh, it's not as consistent, but certainly clear and it's worth fishing. No real rain on the horizon, so it's going to stay clear for a long time. We might have an unbelievable fishery this winter, so we'll just cross our fingers and hope that's the case. Dartmouth Dam, a few trout coming out of it. Flatline trolling's all right. Getting some pretty good fish out of the Hume Weir. A few good red fins, some yellows on the timber. Uh, it's certainly worth the effort at the moment. But uh, don't expect to get big numbers of big redfin. Uh, a lot of small fish, a few big reddies amongst them. The yellows are quite good though. Uh, slow rolling soft plastics around the trees, certainly doing the job nicely. In about 10, 15 metres of water seems to cover it pretty well. Even put in around the Bounder Waters area and just slip straight across to the timber there and the old creek beds and river beds. I think you'll find you do all right. We fished there a few times and uh, it's been very consistent for us. So I'm happy with that area. Mawala, good reports from Mawala. Um, don't forget they're going to drop the level very soon. Uh, get down there and get stuck into it uh, before that happens and uh, work the you know, edge of the weed beds like I've mentioned before. Also uh, in the lagoons that are across from Kiffins. When I say lagoons, the deeper uh, bits of water, they're sort of old lagoons and that. Right in the middle from one and a half metres down to about four or five metres, you'll get some really good fishing in those areas. Uh, just work in the big lay me down logs, you'll get some good fish in it. Tumut River, fishing really well. It's up and down a little bit like a yo-yo. One day in the near future, they'll drop it and it'll be consistently low right up until the close of the season with a bit of luck. Uh, but it is fishing well. Little Yakamito spoons, almost impossible to beat. They're very good. Getting some good fish drifting worms. Also, the fly fishermen are starting to have a good time there, so it looks very promising. Blaring's been tough, but look, seriously, go and put a bit of effort in and about sort of 50, 60 feet of water. Look for some big redfin. They're there. Every now and then, somebody comes up with a good catch of reddies out of it. Uh, usually on small yabbies will do the job, but in saying that, the cod and the yellers are sitting in that depth as well, feeding on the schools of redfin. And quite often you'll pick up a yeller or a cod doing the same thing, just bobbing small yabbies or anything of that nature. You'll be surprised. Getting a few on the troll, getting a few off the bank with big yabbies and grubs of a night time. Uh, so blaring certainly worth a bit of a look, but it's not the hot spot at the moment. Uh, Wangler's still pretty good, getting some pretty reasonable reports out of there. Uh, it's been our most consistent dam this season, even last season is probably more consistent than the others. Some good cod, good yellows, trolling, bait fishing, doesn't seem to matter a great deal. Bar and Jack's starting to show signs of improving. Uh, there's the odd big cod getting caught. Now these uh, cooler nights have hit, uh, we might see a bit of movement in big fish. So cross our fingers on that one and hope for the best. Tentangra, still getting some pretty good reports out of Tentangra. Get the odd quiet day up there, uh, but the majority of the time you're getting a fair share of trout out of it just on a troll. One of the big tricks at the moment is a little bit of a fast troll. Seems to be doing better than most. Uh, little Strike Pro blades seem to be doing exceptionally well, and the Yakamito Slim Minnow, if you're right up in the in the shallow water, will cover the options pretty well. If you're going across to Yukonburn, you're starting to work that Providence area and that sort of thing. Try the CC minnows in the 20 to 30 footers. Uh, they'll cover the options well. There's some big browns starting to hang there. 
Calbingo the same. Try some bigger, or not so much bigger lures, but deeper lures, 20 to 30 footers. That'll cover your options pretty well, rather than dragging the old Tassie around. So do something a little bit different. So as you can see, fair bit of activity around. And if you need a, a bit more in-depth report on some areas, give us a ring at the shop. This is the Complete Anglers Fishing Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.